So in this video, I'm going to go through how to do some basic setup and controls on the VEX V5 controller. So you can see right here on my devices, I've added my controller. What's important is they do come with some pre-selected drivetrains. If you want to program your own controller, I'm going to suggest that you do not do that. So I'm going to hide this here. Uh, again, you'll see I also have uh, two motors set up. Um, my right motor and my left motor. If we look at the program, I'm enabling when the program is started, my uh, controller, and then my right motor velocity is at zero, left is at zero, and I'm gonna spin both of those. This program is nothing more than a velocity or speech uh, program. So if I move my controller on the two axis, it's going to take that position on the two axis and it's going to set my velocity's speed based on its location. My uh, left motor uh, is going to change its velocity based off of the three axis so my up and down on my other one so you can see i have i'm hardwired into my controller here and with that high hard wiring in you don't have to set up the controller it automatically comes in so i'm going to download that program to my brain and i'm going to click run and you're going to see that neither of my wheels spin but again as i go up on the two axis or I can change the direction, uh, again, based on that position. So I'm going up and down, and if I go all the way, and I can do that same on my three motor as well. So this is just an example of how to do a simple uh, speed control program off of the motors uh, as you can set up your own uh, drivetrain. Now, again, another simple program that you can set up just like the previous video, if you look at my controller, I haven't set up a specified drivetrain. I've enabled my controller, I've set my speed to zero. Now what we can see is my A button, every time I press it, I increase my uh, speed by 10. I'm also gonna display the speed on the brain right here so I can get that readout, setting it to a new row, and then I'm setting my velocity to that variable of speed. I'm going to do the same thing on my B button, but it's you can see that negative sign here. So I'm going to decrease my speed again, printing it so I can read it. And I'm going to use my axis on controller three, which is here to move my right motor, uh, right motor forward. And I'm going to use my two axis on this one to move my motor in reverse. So we can see again, I'm gonna download that to my program. I'm gonna hit run, nothing happens. Now, as I press my A, you can see here that my variable is changing. I'm going up to a 20, but now I put my wheels in motion. The more I hit A, the faster my motor goes, and I can see that readout here. I can hit B to slow my motor down, so I can control my motors now, which direction with my controller, and I can use my buttons here uh, for the B as well. So that's just a simple program on how to set up your uh, VEX controller. We can talk later about how to do it with the